Hi, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we will discuss about how rejuvenation will occur uh, due to the intermittent fasting. So, first of all, I will again introduce the intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting is the fasting uh, which that required 10 to 15 to uh, 16 hours, uh, which that you will not eat. And after uh, uh, fasting break, you can eat but eat healthy food not sugary material or not sugary stuff so that is why so let's begin to understand how we can rejuvenate uh, through intermittent fasting if we are older so we can reverse our genes uh, due to the intermittent fasting so how it is possible let's begin to understand basically when you will not eat your dna will be repaired it means your gene will be repaired and apoptosis will be occur for those cells who are damaging and the rest and digest will be increased it means the growth of your uh, skin will be increased because i will uh, discuss about the whole mechanism but uh, you should just understand when you will not eat your insulin will not spike when insulin will not spike if you are uh, in not spike insulin it means the anabolism required but insulin is not spiking because you are not consuming uh, nutrient you are not consuming food so in this way uh, insulin will not spike but how anabolism can be possible because anabolism is required for the normal uh, body physiology for the uh, maintenance and adaptation as well as uh, uh, maintain your body so how it is possible Basically, insulin will not trigger and the function of insulin is the glucose deposition into the cells but insulin will not produce. It means that deposition of glucose is impossible but a little amount of insulin can spike but the growth hormone will be produced which that is the alternate form of the insulin but the growth hormone is used for the proteogenesis your new cell division and the synthesis of the cholesterol the lipolysis and in this way the lipolysis will increase the fatty acid and glycerol and triacylglycerol as well as the lipids which that is used for the synthesis of the uh, plasma membrane of the cell it means your skin will be more protective and your apoptosis will lead to damage cell will be removed but the new cell will be regenerate and that is why and the cholesterol level will be high when cholesterol level will be high it means the cholesterol will use to produce the testosterone and testosterone is maintain the male body while the uh, for female the estrogen produce and progesterone is used for the female feminism and the masculinism so remember that this is the basically is the part of health and that is why the uh, on the other hand the cholesterol is used for the uh, cell preparation as well as the plasma membrane synthesis and a lot more things and the on the other hand the low density lipoprotein increase but it is beneficial not harmful because uh, duration of the intermittent fasting the HDL will be increased uh, initial periods of the uh, fasting days but uh, ultimately decrease so triacylglycerol will be decreased but remember the cholesterol is produced and synthesis of the testosterone and estrogen and progesterone for female as well as growth hormone will produce and the alternate form of the insulin is produced the IGF-1 and IGF-2 insulin like growth factor due to the fasting insulin like growth factor work in the liver and muscle which that deposits the sugar for the glycogenesis the glycogen formation in this way the everything will be okay but why why the insulin is harmful for spiking uh, what is the uh, reason behind it let's begin to understand basically insulin is uh, bind with the adipocyte with the insulin receptor to influx of the glucose through glute 4 channel and in this way the glute channel will be open and the glucose will be rushed into the adipocyte after move into the adipocyte it will be a synthesis and convert into the lipids 
convert into the fat is known as the lipogenesis so the lipolysis will be inhibited but fasting the growth hormone and the igf it will produce which that is not produced from the adipose tissue and uh, autocrinally or paracrinally will, will bind will lead to grow more so this is the reason behind it and that is the major reason behind it and that is why the growth hormone will increase will lead to more more uh, uh, a more uh, uh, glowing of your skin and you will look more younger as compared to the uh, as compared to uh, your present situation so the intermittent fasting uh, uh, should be very important for normal life and that is why and on one more important thing is that the uh, 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 beta oxidation will occur and to produce more ATP as well as the ketogenesis will occur will produce the smooth energy process and no need to insulin bind and in this way the lipolysis will begin further and this is the mechanism and in this way the skin will be prepared and the autophagy will occur in this way the autophagy means the damaged cell will be removed while the new cell will be generated due to the cell division due to the growth factors like growth hormone will trigger that growth factors to stimulate the uh, DNA and DNA stimulate for the synthesis of protein for cell division so in this way the cell division will be increased while the cell death will be uh, decreased uh, and in this way the longevity will trigger and the rejuvenation will occur. This is the major reason. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please make sure to subscribe, like and share. And I am also making the handwritten tutorial uh, about the biomedical science. If you are a student or expert, you can subscribe me and watch the uh, watch that tutorial to understand and I am also making the biochemistry and physiology uh, series and I, I will start the chemistry series for understanding better and the knowledge wise so thanks for watching see you in the next video for this time bye